You might just as well say I read what I like is the same thing as I like what I read. They say, don't they, that everyone loves the music of their youth. I do. And I also love the books of my youth. A little library growing bigger every year. I don't so much live in a house these days as in a private library. Often I can remember where I bought a book and why, so the books become a sort of tangled history of my life. If I have a bad day, I try to avoid buying books because the book reminds me of the bad day I had. In some ways, the Medway Towns, it's one of the most literary areas in the country. It has connections with Chaucer, Shakespeare, Dickens. Yet growing up in a working class family from Gillingham, it felt a kind of unliterary place. For example, it's the largest urban area in the country without a proper theatre. Finding a book on the internet, it's never quite the same as finding it in a real bookshop. I do hope these aren't the last days of the second-hand bookshop. They're a sort of second home to bibliophiles, a kind of literary haven. Only thing you're in. There weren't any second-hand bookshops in this area when I was a child, except for one, where the books were piled so high that they caused spontaneous combustion. It's an awful warning to bibliophiles. There's one book dealer I'd known for 30 years. He died suddenly of a heart attack. And on that very same day, a couple of hours earlier, he'd sold me a book called A Thousand and One Books You Must Read Before You Die. And one day I found in the same shop the programme for a rag day that I'd taken part in and a school magazine that I'd helped to edit. You never know what you'll find. This is the kind of bookshop you might recall from your childhood. People sometimes ask me if I actually read the books I collect. And I think, well, do they really love books? They can't ask that kind of question. Of course I read them. I've chosen them myself. It's a great luxury, really. Now I write about them in a magazine, trying to see if anyone will catch my bibliomania. And what will happen to them all when I go, eh? Will the dealer just say, well, I can give you a fiver for the lot? I hope not. And deeper than did ever plummet sound, I'll drown my books.